Hi guys, um, so we're here today with a first impressions on the Maybelline focus Maybelline um, Fit Me Poreless Matte and Poreless. This is in porcelain. I used to use the original um, foundation, so I wanted to test out to see if this actually worked. I don't know if it's going to be a color match. I really hope so because I have a meeting after I'm done filming this. Um, so this is going to be a really quick video. I already have my eye makeup. I have my Naked 2 palette copper on the lid and then um, busted in the crease. And my Better Than Sex mascara on. Here we go. So color wise it actually matches perfectly which is really difficult for me to find um, but it's nice to know I have a drugstore option now. It also applies really smooth on the skin. Um, as far as the finish goes it is definitely matte. I'm still a little shiny in areas but I do have a moisturizer on underneath so okay there we go there's the finished face done I'm going to zoom you in so we can get a closer look okay so you still see skin underneath um, as well as my redness and my spots that I have going on right now So I'm guessing I'm going to have to use a primer or a concealer with this, but today I'm not using any concealer, so I'm just going to cover that up with a little bit more foundation. My nose is really shiny for some apparent reason. I don't know if it's just my skin today or if it's this foundation. Anyway. It definitely matches my neck right now. Um, now it could oxidize and that could be a whole different story later on. So, yeah. I'm not going to set it with powder. I am just going to apply a little bit of blush and some lipstick. And I will check back in in a couple of hours. So I just want to do the first little update. Um, I'm sitting in my car, so usually the car is one of the best places to check your makeup, and since this natural light is on my face right now, which is why I'm super squinty, um, I just wanted to, yeah, it's starting to oxidize, and turn a little bit orange. I don't know if maybe it's my powders I'll put on top of it, because I contoured a little bit and applied some blush and stuff um it could be part of that it could just be fallout of my contour powder I don't know but you can see a little bit of a difference at least I feel maybe I'm seeing my contour I don't know but I will check in again it's currently 11 o'clock only been an hour so see you back soon Hi, so it has been eight hours. What time it is? Yes, it has been eight hours since I have applied this foundation. Um, as you can tell, it has oxidized a little bit. Now, as far as lasting, um, well, let's take a closer look. As you can see, you can definitely start to see the texture underneath my skin with my pores and it's settling in. Um, it's kind of worn off right there. You can definitely see how it's starting to, how it's oxidized. Um, 
which it can be okay for me in the summertime because it also adds to the shade that I will be in the summer. Now for winter and for right now, <laughs> there's a cat drinking my water. Anyway, for winter, for right now, it is not okay because um, I'm super pale, even more pale than usual. So my overall thoughts of this foundation would be, I do like it, um, but it will be more of my summer foundation, I believe. Plus it's matte and I usually wear matte foundations in summer versus having matte foundation in winter because my skin is dry in winter and looks better with glowy, glowy dewy foundation to me during winter. Now if you have tried this foundation, uh, give me your opinion down in the comments below and I will see y'all next time with my next video which I'm pretty sure might be another foundation test. Hint, hint. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. See y'all later. Bye. You see all this stuff? It was a lot. <laughs>